265 firefighters, this is according to the last wire reports coming in, 265 firefighters and they're watching three major blazes in the Menai area, south of the city in particular, but they're also watching, uh, because of the winds, fires at Engadine and at Lucas Heights. Now let's bring you up to date on road closures because they are absolutely crucial for those of you trying to get home or wondering about people trying to get out. An extra one, there was some discussion as Dane Goodwin was telling us earlier because he's from the area, there was some discussion earlier in the night about closing off Gross Road at Falkenbridge, however we can't confirm that. And I doubt that we'd be usurping the police if we said if you've got no reason to be in the area of any of the fires then please stay out of the area because they need to get a speedy access for firefighting tenders and the emergency service work workers from fire brigade, from ambulance, from police so that they can try and minimise what is a real crisis in the metropolitan area and especially uh, in that uh, Coonabarra brand Narrabri area. It's extremely understandable for people to want to race in and yes. try and uh, help their friends and help their loved ones and see what's happened to their houses. I mean that's absolutely understandable but please if you're not there don't go. The best thing you can do, especially if you have friends or relatives or property in the areas affected by the fire, is to contact the toll-free hotline number. We'll show it to you there now. It's on your screen. As we said, it's a toll-free number, 1-800-227-228. And bear in mind, there is a total fire ban in place throughout New South Wales for an indefinite period of time. And if you're wondering just what the situation is going to be with the fires overnight, so are we. But uh, we can tell you that Pat Sullivan was here from the Bureau of Meteorology a short time ago. He has suggested that those winds that have created so much damage will lessen, perhaps even halve overnight, and that might at least give firefighters a bit of a chance. We're crossing our fingers, and either way, we'll have the latest information for you on the Today program around Australia tomorrow morning. We'll be there at 7 in the morning. We will. See you then. Good night to you. Bye.